Hello everybody, Crydex here. Welcome back to our Crastorio 2 playthrough. Uh, we're basically picking up right where we left off. We were working on our Singularity Tech card build, all based in matter. Uh, we were reminded at the end of last episode that we are doofuses and we could have made sulfur directly from matter, but I already built this. Technically it saves me a little bit of matter, so we're going to leave it, but... What's funny is, like, I need 500 matter a second, and it only saves me about 7 matter a second, so it's not even that big of savings. But I'm trying to feel a little bit better about myself, so here we are. Uh, we're moving up on in, moving up on in through the tech chain. Wow, that's heck of a sentence right there. I need 24 rare metals, and most of those are going to... Yeah, most are going to the charged mat or just the matter stabilizers. And within that, the immersium plates. Okay. But some is going to nitric acid. So I really just need this on a belt. I shouldn't be putting it in a chest. I guess I can um, just do that. And this can be a half belt because I only need 20, what was it? 24 total. So maybe I can share this half belt with something else. Uh, we'll have that just kind of come over here. So rare metals are available when I need them. <laughs> uh, no worries, Brandon. You, uh, I'm very glad you jumped in live and added, added that two cents. I don't mind a good existential crisis in the middle of a Factorio stream. That's what I sign up for, you know? Alright, uh, we got the rare metals going. We, is this enough for 24? No, this actually isn't enough, but let's continue our beaconing. So I actually need two making rare metals, unless I also start beaconing on the back. Uh, I guess we'll beacon on the back. That's actually not difficult. I just need to move that sideways. That's not difficult at all. Um, and then we just do something like this. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate that. Okay, that gets me to exactly 30. Oh, wait, actually there is a problem with this, the power, the power usage. Because the way I've done it, I already am low on power. Crap. These are 140 megawatts each. Yee! Okay, um... So maybe what I should be doing is mixing my beacons like that. Because then they give more speed than they cost. Uh, yeah, that gets them down to the 80% limit. And then I'll copy this and paste it over here. Huh. Yeah, Brandon, it is definitely the, uh, the easiest to replay. It's quite fun, too. Okay, so then I will just need, um... Well, okay, hold on. I'll leave that. I just need to change this. Change this up a bit here. Because essentially, I need to unload and unload. And now I just have a bunch of extra rare metals that uh, I don't know what to do with. That's fine, I guess. I feel like you get amazingly overpowered very quickly, far faster in um, Bob's. Bob's mods. K2 is is uh, a good bit more balanced than Bob's mods. Bob's mods is the insane one. Okay, let me just make sure these are still fast enough. That's 350, that's 17.5. Okay, and that totals up to 35 now, which is perfect. These should not be loaders because they're not... Well, I can do filter loaders, I guess, um, on rare metals. I just need to make sure they're filtered, otherwise the matter stabilizers are going to end up in my rare metals belt, and that is not good. 
Okay, rare metal's done. Moving our way up the line. Now we need whatever this is, lithium batteries. So I need some copper and we need some lithium. And where does the lithium come from? The lithium comes from my trains. Because I've already got a giant lithium plant. So we're going to have to connect train tracks over here. Which I think we'll do that. And drive up here and then we'll unload lithium. So let's pin this. So I'm just going to keep this line of beacons going. I guess we can space it out a little bit. We're going to need copper, we're going to need sulfuric, and we're going to need lithium. Okay. So let's start with one. How fast is that? 1.1. Oh, that's because I have no speed modules yet. How about now? 6.7. That's pretty good. Can I do this with just one building? I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be yes. Because I can do that. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. Easy. All right, so that's plenty, uh, and we just need to connect up. With three pipes, we can connect our sulfuric acid, uh, and then we'll just have lithium and copper flow in via belts and loaders, like so. All right, so let's go hook up the train and then total amount of copper for all of this. Did I ever calculate that? That would be in here. So I'm gonna need four belts just for low density structure. That's insane. My low density structure build is gonna be disturbing as heck. Um, so because I need four belts, and it's almost exactly four, too. 234. There's only a spare 5.7 copper. And this needs more than 5.7 copper. So that actually does mean I need... I need one of these that's designed specifically for copper for other things, which will be this one. And we need to fill that with modules. And then that's going to have filter out copper. OK, so that'll be copper for my whatchamacallits. Wait, we're going down here. There we go. OK, now I just need lithium. Easy peasy. All right, so we're gonna go down to our Farl. We'll use Farl to build the train tracks all the way up. And then we'll just have to build a basic lithium unloading station. Bing, bang, boom. Shouldn't take any time at all. I am gonna let my bots deliver things though. It's been a while. And I might need some more tracks. I don't know how much Farl is currently holding. Uh, where even are the tracks? Why can't I find you? Here you are. Okay, yeah, that should be plenty. All right, we got a few a few more control units and stabilizers. That's a good thing. They do exist. Uh, I don't remember where I parked for all. Here, Farl, 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 Farl. Where did I leave you? Oh, all the way down there. Got it. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, he already had quite a few rails. Have some more. Uh, now I want you to take me to here. <coughs> and then we need our little T intersection. I hate that you have to switch it to manual. Yeah, I think IR2 plays nice with K2. Um, I mean, I'm personally not the biggest fan of IR2 myself, but I do think it plays nice at least. If I'm remembering correctly. Alright, let's at least get a little bit of this built. And then we'll go ahead and start. All the way up we go to where exactly? Okay, still past this. Probably about here. And then I'm just gonna do that. I don't really have a need for um, extra branches or anything. Um, and then we're just gonna get this out of the way. Plop down a station and do unloading. Kind of wherever. Uh, just make sure you change to lithium. And how much did I automate per second? I don't know. We're just going to do 100 stacks. I don't even care. But I want to say we did 30 a second. On, yeah, we did 30 a second on lithium. So that's great. And then... Connect up power real quick. A belt going to the right. Excuse me, Mr. Rock. I would like you to not be in the way. Okay. Oh, no, I deleted that. Uh, I guess that's fine. That's how we want that. Wait, those are supposed to go into the input, aren't they? No, no, these turn off based on the contents. That one's supposed to be less than 1,000, I think. Hopefully. Guess we'll see if that's wrong. Um, yeah, QL mods sometimes break other things. Also, Dukes, Redeeming Hydrate. I'm always forgetting to do that, that's for sure. Thank ya. Okay. What's in here? Lithium. Okay, uh, I believe that should do it. This guy is just gonna have to go somewhere else. We'll have him go to our spot that we've had him go to before. And then I'm gonna pop out. And I'm going to turn this on. And that should bring lithium in. And that's going to go... Across all of this. Down and over. And there we go. There's all the batteries we're ever going to need. Uh, yep. That's all good to go. Sweet. Okay, back to the rest of the stuff. So we got the batteries, the stabilizer chargers. I just need to handcraft some more of those. I can get two of them. Um, so that's good. Okay, here we go. Low density structure. This is the big one. 
This is the big one. Um, holy cow, this is the big one. Now, this is going to be, let's just call it 16. That's still insane. 16 or 14 better for power. Beacon Bike Factory is 10. Uh, 16, I think, is better in the long run. Yeah. Because Beacon by Factory is going to be slightly less than 10. It would probably be more like 8 and 10, which is 250, or 10 and 16, which is better. So we will go that direction. Oh, the lithium's here. Sweet. There you go. Lithium sulfur batteries. Running nicely. Okay. Um, anyway, these numbers are just absolutely bonkers, but we got to do it, so, uh, let's see, I need a bunch for copper, up to 235 copper, um, needless to say, I'm a bit unhappy about that. Should I start making a grid out of the... I don't know. For now, we'll just extend it. We got plenty of space. This loop gonna have to be a long loop. Um, for now, we're just gonna leave this part of the loop in. But then I can continue that later. Um, okay, yep. I just need to spend all my monies building all the things. I'm guessing that won't even be enough, but we'll see. Okay, so these three are 52. So that's going to be 100, 150, 200, 250. All together, that is 207.5. Still not enough. Probably because of the missing beacons, so I need to go get some more beacons. And then I'm going to need a few for steel and a bunch for plastic as well. Holy cow. This is, this is definitely expensive. Still not enough energy control units. I wonder where they're all going. Are they going into the buildings that use them, or, or what? Like, are you even running? Oh, you're out of components. Interesting. Because that's such an easy fix. I have a billion components down here. I can literally just fill a chest with all the components I have. So... That's been slowing down my energy control units. And it didn't need to. Alright, well I got a lot more beacons, so that's good. Also, I can make another exoskeleton here. I have room for it. Might as well walk a little faster. Okay, still missing some modules. But the speeds are all in there, so that should get the speed numbers right. 255, I can maybe remove one. That leaves me with 245. Okay. How about this? 227.5. I need more than that. Okay, one more. So there you have it. And now we need uh, some sort of blueprint. I will copy the matter stabilizer piece. So that's easy enough. This one was a little borked.
Now, I'm beginning to think it could be beneficial. To have two columns. Otherwise, I'm wasting so many beacons. So, yeah, I think I'll do two columns here. Um, to do that is slightly annoying. I'm just going to have to make this go far enough that it is out of the way. Like so. Better to have one in the hand than two in the bush. Exactly. Um, so then... And then this needs to kind of stretch back here. So what I'll do is like one there, and then it'll go right there. Okay. And then connect there. And then I'm going to have to move power to in between the buildings. And this power can still be on the front. Where are my singularity beacons? I don't have them because I don't have singularity uh, research yet. So I can't, unfortunately. All right, now these three together make 52. So that's going to be one belt's worth. So I can do something uh, like this. but I'm not confident that's going to balance properly. I can also heck one inserter is pretty fast, so I can just do two inserters here. I think that's probably the easiest method. Um, so we'll just do two inserters, one close, one far, close, one far, one close, one far for that set of three with an underground here. That between it, this goes down and around, and I guess we want it to go over to the right in this case. All the way up to there. Okay, so that's a chunk of three to get almost a full belt of copper. Do that there, 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 and one less here at the end. Crazy. Okay, and just to triple check, the rate on all that is 245. Okay, perfect. Whew, that's a lot, but I think we did it. That's just the copper though, and now I need steel and plastic. So, That's where column number two comes in, because we need to save ourselves some beacons here. Um, so column number two starts here, goes down. Um, I'm actually going to copy the same thing that I had for plastic, or for copper. Use that for plastic. I assume the numbers will be similar. Yeah, 52.5, so I'm going to need another one of those. I do uh, this uh, Wait. I can't shoot my own chests. No! Go away. You go up there. Okay. Get out of my sight. And then we're going to need loop part two. Part two. Uh, and then that'll merge back up with the, uh, recharging section. And we'll just essentially split it at the bottom. This is the bottom currently. The bottom will change over time, but for now this is the farthest I've gone. Yes, the chest ran away from me. It was that scared. Okay, I'm completely out of efficiency modules. That's a problem. And we'll do matter on this side. OK. 
Okay. So that'll work. And then we've got our plastic. In this case, I'm a bit worried about it going through. I guess we should be able to generally do stuff like this. Can squeak? Oh, okay. Squeak through is just very finicky sometimes when you're walking fast. Um, so we've got that set up. I'm going to need two of these plus slightly more. Yeah, 117. So I'm going to need a third by itself, I think. Which then technically, so that'll go. Um, to here, then I think I'll have this one come down. So this is plastic, mind you. These two are going to be very full. This one needs to kind of merge with those two. So we're going to do output priority left, and then this will have a little bit of spare that will merge into that one. And now we should have two full-ish belts of plastic being very close to 120. And as far as rate here, we are at exactly 120, and that's even missing a few beacons. So. That's good. Um, should be okay here. Missing some power there in the middle. Uh, okay, so that's plastic. And now lastly, we need steel, which thankfully is only 46.86. I'm hopeful that this same build switched over to steel is going to be enough. 52.5, perfect. Okay, so then steel's over here. So there's our steel. And our plastic, where did all that end up? Or I mean our copper. Copper, number one is here, number two is here, number three is here, number four is there, number five is there. Gosh, that's insane. So much copper. And I'm going to be out of green belts shortly, but don't you worry. We'll get more. Whew. Okay. This is good stuff, though. I don't, uh, I haven't built stuff this big in a while, so it's kind of fun. Get back to the, the classic factorial gameplay. Gosh, we have no glass. Can I just help out glass a little bit here? Why is glass so bad? Glass is bad because this building's slow. Apparently. So... A couple more beacons should liven that right up. Hey, we got up to 100 matter stabilizers. That's awesome. That's awesome. Soon we'll be making our own up here. Did I ever equip? No, I didn't. I need to equip this bad boy. Even faster. Okay, so... These belts... Um... Wait, what is this? Is that like a plastic or something? I don't know what that is but these are five belts of copper but it's actually a maximum of four belts of copper so what i'm gonna do is the whole um wow what is what are my hotkeys 
just had a complete brain fart. Uh, if I do that, how does this work again? So if they all do output priority left, the problem is if this was two full builds, then that actually doesn't even accomplish anything. But that will shift everything over up to one belt eventually, if I know the grand total is only four belts worth. So then... Hmm. Trying to think of the easiest way to do this. Maybe it's just two of these. Probably. I don't think I need that though. Uh, maybe I do. I don't know. If that doesn't do it, nothing will. Okay, that's not quite true, but I'm sure that'll work. Probably wasting UPS for sure, but that'll work. Okay, so that's copper. Um, this was, oh shoot, steel, and these were plastic, I want to say. So then I'm actually going to bring these down... to here, and those are all my belts that I need for low density structure. I want to make sure this is steel though. Yes, it is, okay. And then let's throw my matter stabilizers in their home. Gonna extend this a little bit. Do another chunk. And I can craft those two more. That'll take a second, but it'll work. That should get the stabilizers flowing. And now I get to design this low density structure madness. Okay. So we're going to need a lot of crap. A lot of crap. Um, starting with advanced assembling machine. Let's put this on its own for a second. So, surrounding. Okay, that's the best we can do. LDS here, max prod. And that's about three per second. So I am going to need 11 of these. Holy crap. Now, if there's any way I can smush it up tighter, I would like to do that. But the problem is that can make it so that only four effect. So this does have to be perfect. Oh, right. These are only five by five. That's why I was getting confused earlier. I thought they were six by six for some reason. So since these are five by five, they have to be centered on a beacon to have five affecting them. So then if I squish these all the way up and these are just patterned down, then this would have to be there. So that's the optimal because then I save myself, I think one beacon on the left side. Um, because if these were spaced out more, you know, then this would have to be down three more units. Which is a total of two more beacons per building, and at least in terms of vertical space, three more vertical space per building. So I save myself a lot of hassle if I do that. So we will. And then, you know, the next three, and we just keep going. I'm pretty sure this tiles properly. If that's one space down, 
then everything lines up and each of these is effect sources 20. Oh wait, no. This has two more. Yeah, effect sources 20. So there you go. Um, and then in terms of inputs per second, well, we'll just have to do everything. Kind of annoying. Put together some sort of blueprint because I don't want to manually connect that many of them. Okay, so then I can just do that. That's four. Holy crap. Uh, six, eight, ten, eleven. <laughs> this is insanity. Okay, um, wow. Oh, I screwed something up big time. Oh, yep. We really, we really screwed that up. Paid zero attention. These all need to be filter inserters. Okay, I did at least do filter outputs for the rare metals. Okay, so that. Filter, filter. Okay. So that needs to be filter, filter, filter. Filter, filter, filter. Bing, bang, boom. Filter, filter. All right. Then these, similarly broken, need to be steel. Filter, filter. These need to be plastic. That's not plastic. Okay. Sheesh. All right, so let me pick all this up. It's a bit unfortunate. At least uh, 60 per second moves belts pretty fast. Get that all back on the belt system there. All right, so then this is gonna be kind of insane. Um, how do I even blueprint this? So clearly we want something of this fashion. Well, or do I want to be mixing belts? No, I mean, but, gosh. Because for each individual one, I could put two things on a belt. But then I'm having to do splitters and connecting belts out there. So I'm just going to keep things separate for now. Maybe that's a bad strategy. So we're going to do something like that. We're going to have the copper line. The copper line should be on the outside because it's the one I need to add the most into. The steel line will be this one. It'll just be always be on the inside. Like so. So the steel line will be on the inside and it'll connect to here, which will then immediately go back up and that'll be the steel line. And so this is one tile above the top, like that. So that's one full connection there. Then, also this is gonna bother me, these should be here to be perfect. Um, okay, so that's the steel line. Then we're gonna have the plastic line. The plastic line, it's gonna run above, split off, go right. And that's just gonna do that every time. But we're gonna use an underground to connect. Uh, let's see, let me get this. Gotta get it all patterned correctly. Uh, we're gonna use an underground to connect to the next one. 
like that. Yep. Because then that allows me to... I guess I don't need an underground here because I can just do uh, copper on the outside here. And so copper is going to have all of its belts on the outside just doing that. Uh, so it's what? A knight's move away? Like that. Okay, so then I'm copying this, and it should all just line up. Yep, and then I'll just have to bring in new belts periodically, so. Like freshening up the, you know, the plastic belt and the copper belt. Okay, so that's done. Then... Blah, 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 blah. So steel's over here. Steel is this one. Done. So that's hooked up. Uh, these two are plastic. No, I don't like that. I like this. Gotta land at the same spot. Okay, so then plastic will be here, and then the other one will have to go a certain distance and then get added in. So I guess the secondary plastic will be chilling alongside for a while. Because how many of these will use one full... Oh gosh, I need all the beacons and the modules and stuff. Yeah, dude, because I think it looks pretty neat. I like the green color too. It makes it feel even more special and futuristic. Okay, well we're about to steal all of these uh, speed modules. and beacons. Here come the swarm. Bam. Okay, that looks like most everything. There's 50 more beacons for me. I don't even know if that'll be enough. I also really have no idea how much power this is going to take to run all this. Oh, still not enough beacons, huh? Because to some level, this is a good estimate, but it's not correct in terms of number of beacons and everything. But I probably should build three more antimatter reactors just to make sure. I think overall my total power will be slightly less than that. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. Okay, finally, do we have enough beacons? I think we got there. Okay, so then we do have 11. The total rate is 32.34. It needs to be 32.8, unfortunately. And so that means we're going to need one more chunk here. Of everything. Okay, so in terms of numbers, the first six will need, well, I guess the first five will need a full belt of plastic. I mean, actually, this is kind of crazy. Each one needs about 10 copper. So as long as I provide a full belt to the first six, and whatever's left to the next six, it'll all work out. More power, exactly. Uh, okay, so plastic was this one, right? These two, yes. And they never got balanced. We should balance them and prioritize the front one. So this will be a full 60. So that's one, two, three, four, well, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. That's the sixth one. So this is lucky number seven. So then that's going to bring in extra plastic belts. So there's extra plastic belt. Now copper, we have four belts going to 12. So every three 
need to be their own belt. So that's the first three, that's the second three, that's the third three, and that's the fourth three. And these splitters don't need any extras coming off. I'm going to keep the splitters just for, uh, whatchamacallit, consistency's sake. Okay, and then the, the coppers need to essentially do something like that. That'll be the first one. Um... And then these guys will run alongside until they get to where they need to go, which is here. Which is right there. And finally, copper belt number four goes all the way to here. Oops, okay. All right, I think that's correct. Now I still need power and output. Output's gonna be easy, it can all go on one belt. Uh, power's gonna be easy, I can just put that in the corner of each one. Really each two could be power, I think, and still get full coverage, yeah. Not that I really need to save substations. But we'll do that. Um, and then, as far as output, I'm going to go right in the middle of the building, do an underground and an underground, and that's it's just going to be that simple. Um, we'll alternate every two. So that'll be far, that'll be close, that'll be with the substation, and we'll copy that. Perfect. All right, and then we've got our belts of low density structure. Now, time to go figure out why none of these things are running. It looks like I've run out of matter. Is that true? Oh, uh, I kind of forgot to connect all of these buildings and these need to actually be rotated because of the way I built this. Oopsies. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then that one. And then I guess I need to do a little squiggle there. Alright, so there's copper running. Now steel, I guess the issue has just been... The stabilizers. So I have a hundred more. Should help a little bit. Uh, also checking efficiency modules that they're all in properly. Okay, they are. Let's look at our power usage. Now we're still only at 1.7, but it'll get worse very soon once those all wrap around. This is pretty satisfying. All of these belts. Also, I don't see any plastic. Did I screw something up there? Or do they just need their stabilizers? Yeah, they just need their stabilizers. That's why they're not running. Also, I just realized, um, made a grave mistake. We need more than 30 stabilizers per second. So my options here include going to purple belts, but those need low density structure and immersive gear. Well, we're about to get a lot of low density structure. 
So I could do purple belts, because those do 45 per side, or I could... Well, actually, I might need to do that. Yeah. Crap. I think that's our only option, actually, because I don't really... Um, I don't have extra space here to make this belt f only charged stabilizers on both sides. Because if I put charged stabilizers on both sides, I would need another belt for the uncharged ones, and I don't really have room with the way I've built this. So we are going to need purple belts for this. For now, this will be fine, but just got to keep that in mind. It is running, which is good news. And it'll back up eventually until it has need for plastic, so in the long run it should be okay. And we probably have already, yeah, we've already made some low density structure. Whew. Okay, well, we finished our low density structure build for our singularity tech cards. And you can see it is quite insane. Even ignoring this area, which is just producing the materials, even just the amount of stuff you need to build the low density structure. That's crazy. So what's left? Uh, we're going to have to do the nitric acid which isn't going to be too bad. We're going to have to do Emersite Crystals, also not crazy bad. And then we're going to have to build the charged matter stabilizers out of all the pieces. And then after that, we're going to be ready to go. So I think we're only an episode or two away from being able to uh, get... Um, Oh, I meant to ban that person. Dang it. Well, I can't anymore. In any case. Um, yeah, we're only an episode or two away, I think, from being able to get these started up. And then we'll be short on matter, of course. But we've been able to build up quite a bit of stockpile. In fact, why don't we build up a bigger stockpile? I can throw another couple uh, tanks here. Store up even more extra matter. Okay, well, I think I'm going to have to call it an episode there, but I'm quite happy with our results from what we were able to do in this episode. And as always, let me know what you th guys think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time.